want to check it out. I've been looking for one of these forever. So this is the full production version of the Hummer EV. This is uh, in Cerritos, California. It's actually at the Chevy store because they're doing the PDI and everything. But uh, this one's sold. I can't drive it or touch it, but I'm gonna certainly check it out. So it's, dude, this thing's wide. Like, like, you know, the pictures do not do it justice. There's an Equinox right there. There's a Camaro. This thing is wide, wide. I thought, you know, that a F1, like a Raptor would be cooler, but this thing makes a Raptor look kind of like a toy. It's a beast. Um, and it's chopped kind of looking like a, like a Hummer should be. It's, it's impressive. I'm, not, I'm literally not gonna touch it because it's somebody else's, you know, $118,000 investment. But being that I'm technical in nature, I was ready looking. Looks like it's pretty extensive, big unibody. Um, big shields and plates underneath. Pretty beefy looking control arms. You can see the big air, air shock there. This level sensor here, obviously for that air, active air suspension. Big old eight lugs. The brakes look pretty substantial. They're not fixed calipers, they're floating calipers. Um, you know, just, you know, they've been bragging about the 35s. And as you can see, they're 305 7018s. So metric equivalent, more than likely. That axle looks pretty sweet. Looks like it's super beefy. There's that front motor in there. Rack and pinion steering. Looks like that motor's got probably a differential. Um, definitely pretty sweet. Everybody's done the exterior view, but nobody's really got up underneath it. I don't have the keys. They didn't offer me the keys. They're kind of funny. You can definitely see some of the cameras and stuff. Pretty nice step bars. There's nothing to see underneath. It's just, that's a steel skid plate. It's all cladded up, totally covered up, which is probably good for off-roading. So you can see now, stout looking aluminum suspension, definitely looking sturdy for sure. And like I said, this one is literally sold. So this is no pro no prototype, pre-production, nothing. This is the model that you get. Exactly. And it's the same. So this is exactly what you're going to be getting if you get the Edition 1. I'm not going to touch the charger. Looks like it's the standard Class 2 um, charger. Definitely tow hooks look cool. Tow hitch looks, looks chunky. It's funny not seeing a rear diff. You know, it's just buried up in there. There's the traction motor for the rear. Definitely see like a sensor, resolver, speed sensor type thing. Real hefty rear axle. Kind of nuts looking at an independent suspension in the back of a truck. But definitely big aluminum, I'd assume, control arms. Um, rear parking brake looks like it's integrated with that caliper. Nice brake lines. Yeah, this thing is sweet and it's hard to really see. And there's that, there's that rear steer rack right there. Crawling around the parking lot like an idiot. I don't even care. So there's your rear steering rack, tie rod end. Uh, don't know much about the technical aspects of that, but obviously you got a full adjustment right there for a rear toe. Looks pretty sweet, big ground. There's that air, looks like it's uh, like a poly. Um, kind of plastic airline. That's typical. And then the other sensor, so. Looks like some kind of ride control module or some big old ECM. I'm all about it. But honestly, it, it, size, it looks like a big beast factory I don't I don't think it would need a lift or anything it could just shoot 37s on it call it a day I need it man I gotta have it